I have actually got the glycerin and rose water. So what I'm gonna do is do a little few splashes on my roots. Ah! Hi Lollies, welcome back to my channel. This is Miss Lauren Lee 11 and today as you can see I have my hair in this beautiful exotic protective style, the Marley Twist. And this is inspired by another YouTuber known as Chelsea but goes by the channel name Olive Chills. Okay guys, so before I get into that guys, I just want to say on my Instagram I'm doing a giveaway. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, you can head over there now. Same name at Miss Lauren Lee 11 and on this giveaway guys, I'm giving away one of these Lauren Lee tops before I put them on sale. So as you can see guys, this is a crop top, got the name Lauren Lee on it and I will be giving it away to one lucky winner selected at random. Now guys, if you want to be in for a chance to win this t-shirt before they go on sale, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, click the notification bell, then send a DM of a screenshot showing that you've subscribed to my channel and you'll be selected at random. The closing date for this giveaway is next Wednesday, the 19th of June. So go ahead guys, do that now, be in for a chance, and I will be sending it off to the lucky winner who will be announced next Wednesday. Okay guys, so back to the video. Have you just ever had natural hair and wanted to relax it, cut it, color it, braid it, everything all at once. You know when you just get so fed up of your curls and as beautiful as my curls are, I'm just not feeling them right now. So I had to put my hair away, put my hands down and just leave my hair, okay? So in the meantime, I'm not gonna make myself look all busted. I'm gonna have to go and do a protective style. So this is what I, I wanted to do. I wanted to have twists for a while. So I did look on YouTube to see the easiest way. If you can see, I've got an invisible it looks like it's coming from my actual hair. So I've got an invisible root, if you if you like. And this is basically something I learned from Chelsea. And I'm gonna show you quickly today. So if you do want to see Chelsea's channel on how she done this, guys, I am not a pro, but <laughs> I did manage to do all my hair by myself. So it doesn't look too bad. But if you do wanna see how she does this in detail, you can click the link down below where I've left the link to her channel, okay guys? All right, so let's get into this. So let me just start with the type of hair that I used. I used three packs and this is the brand. It's Jamaican Twist Braid and it's by Equal. Okay, so the hair is kind of of a natural texture. I like the coarseness of the hair because it's it's more natural it's more, and it was close, a closer texture to my hair. Okay, so I used three bags of those. I've got a little bit left over and I used it in 1B. So I didn't actually comb out the hair, guys. All I done was when I got to the ends, I combed it out, okay? Just so the hair would stay in by itself. So as you can see, guys, this one's a bit unraveling and it's a bit, you know, looking a bit busted and the root could be a bit tighter. So all I'm gonna do, guys, I'm gonna show you a quick method that was used to do this. Okay, so I'm just unraveling the hair, just pulling them apart. All right, so. If you can see that guys, I've sectioned my hair in two and I've wrapped the extension around these two sections. So let me just show you. This is the extension. This is my hair and it's got that kind of like Bantu knot type of feel going on. So what I'm gonna do guys, I'm gonna get some glycerin and rose water to refresh my roots, just to keep my hair moisturized and hydrated. As you know, I've got a little fetish for glycerin right now. So <laughs> I'm gonna be using it, why not? Okay guys, so I haven't got my spray bottle to hand, but I have actually got the glycerin and rose water. Right, a little splash, okay, maybe in your hand, rub it together, smooth it down, just to keep the hair moisturized, and especially the ends, guys. Okay, so if you are looking to redo your hair, if it's in a protective style, I'll definitely recommend using this. And prior to doing these, my hair was in a wash and go for like a couple of days, and to prevent myself from cutting my hair all off, I did then decided to just put my hair in a protective style. So my hair is actually coated with gel. Okay, so now I've smoothed the roots. I don't want my hair too tight. Okay, so what you're then going to do, section these guys. And I've done what Chelsea said. So I've sectioned it, rather than sectioned it down in the middle to make it look more natural, I've sectioned it. So you're gonna to wanna to twist the hair around the strands clockwise okay so let me see clockwise so i'm going to be going that way so i'm going to be twisting both of them in the same direction all right is that right clockwise around and around 
<laughs> around. Sorry, yep. Trying to figure out in my head. And then, yep, yep, yep. Okay, cool. <laughs> so this is very important, guys. These, these ones have to be twisted in the same direction. So let me just show you. So I'm just gonna twist a little bit in the middle of the hair. Okay, so you twist it into your hair like so. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now that's what you should have. Now you're gonna start twisting them together. So as you do, you still keep twisting the strands, okay? To get that rope effect. So I will show you on another piece. So you keep twisting. As you can see, I've got a nice, neat rope effect. Now you have to be careful because your hair will then start to twist at the root and it can get a bit painful. So if you want, you can clip your hair there just to make sure it doesn't get too tight, okay? So I haven't brushed out my actual, my actual hair, so, you know, but I'm still, twisting it into the Marley twist. And you just keep doing the same, because if you don't, it's almost like locking the hair. If you twist the actual strand before you twist them into the twist itself, and stops the hair from becoming all puffy and loose and lets it stay like this. I've had my hair like this since Saturday and it is Wednesday now, so four days, okay? My hair still looks very good, if I say so myself. So now guys, what will happen is if you do get a piece, one side that's bigger than the other, I've just split this bit and added it into there. Again, you twist it, okay? So there's no puffiness, there's no unraveling, there's no indication as to where the hair was separated and twisted into each other. Okay, just keep twisting. When you get near the ends, it doesn't really matter too much about um, twisting as a rope. You just make sure that the hair stays together so you just twist it as together. If you do want the hair actually to un not unravel, you do need to comb the ends out. I have actually done that with this one, so there you go. This is my whole rope twist. As you can see, it looks like my natural hair. Okay, so I'm going to show you again. As soon as I've done that side, I might as well do this one, right? So I'm going to unravel this. Okay, again, you can see where my hair is joined. So then this gives you an indication as to how the hair should be twisted. So this side, they're both gonna be twisted in a forward direction, okay? So they're both gonna be twisted forward, forward, okay? Right, so let me just wet my scalp with the glycerin and the ends. Don't forget the ends, guys. They are the oldest and it needs to be protected in that protective style. Okay. So again, you need to do separate. All right, so you have two sections. You've got the hair. Anyway, remember guys, I said I'm going to be twisting it forward. This one's quite loose. So they both have to be twisted in the same direction, guys. As I said, and you keep twisting the actual strand, okay? So you can see as I'm twisting, it's getting tighter and tighter, so you, it's not hurting me yet, but be aware of that. As I said, if you get one side thicker than the other, you just separate them. And then what you do to disguise it, is you twist them in. Okay guys, so there you have it. There you have it. Looks like it's my real hair. Okay guys, so we got there in the end. It's loose and I'm fine with that. Oh, it was hard to explain, but as I said, it's only inspired. 
if you want to see how it's properly done, then you can visit her channel, as I said, in the link left in the description box down below. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Right, guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.